Ready? Okay. Before Galen, people had very little knowledge of anatomy, except the Egyptians who had learned something about the human body through mummification. However, all they did was took the organs out, which meant they never learned how they fit together or what they did. Galen was a Greek who lived in Rome, and he developed Hippocrates' theory of the four humours into the theory of opposites. What that meant was that if you were too cold, you'd be encouraged to eat something hot. If your symptoms were a runny nose, you'd be encouraged to eat something hot and dry to rebalance those. However, his biggest example of progress was made in anatomy. He started off as a surgeon for gladiators and became very interested in the human body. He also got the opportunity to do a human dissection in Alexandria, which was a city in the Roman Empire in which that was allowed. He then moved away and was not allowed to dissect humans after that point. Instead, he dissected pigs and monkeys because he believed they were the closest animals to humans. By doing so, he discovered that the brain controlled movement. He did this by tying a pig down onto a table, stabbing the pig and watching it squeal, and then cutting the nerve that joined the pig's brain to its vocal cords. When he then stabbed the pig, the pig made no noise, thereby proving that the brain was one of the most important organs of the human body. This was a significant step forward from the Egyptians, who believed the brain was unimportant, used to remove it through the nose, and would then throw it away. Galen put his ideas into 60 books, and these books included Hippocrates for humans. However, Galen made over 200 mistakes. Because he was dissecting pigs, apes, and monkeys, and not humans, he believed the jawbone came in two parts, whereas in a human it is only one. He also believed that blood passed through the septum in the heart through invisible holes. This was later proved to be incorrect. Also in Galen's books was Galen's clear sense of wonder about the human body. He believed and said that it was so perfect it must have been designed by God. The Roman Empire collapsed and its power was taken over by the Christian Church. The Christian Church loved that Galen believed that the body was perfect and designed by God and so taught that Galen was divinely inspired, which meant his message came direct from God. Therefore, they said that if you questioned Galen, it meant you were questioning God, which also meant you would go to hell. They therefore said that there would be no dissection allowed, and they also banned any further experimentation, believing there was no point, as Galen had discovered everything that needed to be discovered. For that reason, Galen's ideas lasted for 1,500 years and came to dominate the medicine of the medieval and the Renaissance period. It wasn't until Vesalius arrived that those ideas were first challenged. To know everything that you need to know about Galen, you need to know who he was, you need to know why and how he made his discoveries, you need to know why his discoveries were important, namely that the brain was the most important part of the body, you need to know the mistakes he made and why he made them, and you also need to be able to explain why those ideas lasted for so long. If you can do all that, you know enough about Galen.